Alright, hi everyone, it's Polybridge time again. Let's, uh, oh, wrong button. Let's carry on where we left off, so I think we're on split level. Yes, these levels are getting a lot harder. Uh, this one, we got quite a long span, but we've only got eight pieces of steel and four hydraulics. So let's have a quick look. We've just got a car that's got to get over to there and back. A taxi. Taxi! It's got to get to the flag. And then we got this plane in the way. Got no springs either. Oh man, I like springs. All right, so for this one, I'm going for something a little bit stupid, probably. I'm going to try and work around the plane. Not gonna get lured into the hydraulics, because that's what it wants me to do. That's gonna be tight. So, we'll see if that holds. Oh, it does seem to hold, somehow. It's gonna hold the little car. I might just turn on the stress, just so we can see. So, top of the bridge, fine. Plane. Oh, just about doesn't reach. Oh! I actually did it first time again. <laughs> and the car's coming back. Not gonna lie, kind of impressed with myself again. <laughs> and we're 25, I can't, surely I'm like way down the leaderboards, surely. 25%, yeah I was gonna say. That was good though. Is it worth, nah I'm, I'm just gonna fly through I think. No worrying about leaderboards today, we're just gonna stay under budget, work our way through. Okay so this level we got a balloon again to hold something up. We got a pillar underneath, but we don't have any supports at the end. And if I remember correctly, these little dash things, you can't rest anything on them. So I'm gonna have to try and have something suspended that I don't think will tip over when this drives on, which could be a bit tricky actually. And guys, just before we get too far, if you could subscribe, if you uh, enjoy these videos and give the video a like as well, that'd be fantastic as it gets the algorithm to look at me a bit more uh, gets my video to more people and yeah why why wouldn't you if you enjoy it why wouldn't you all right let's have a look okay so I'll start by doing the road can you not just road anywhere okay fair enough I will start then with a bit of okay so right to there right to that straight line tool build me road Sorted. So, if I remember from an earlier level, we do a simple truss. Look at this, copy, mirror skills, all the hacks. And then I'm gonna try and see if one bit of rope will support that. I don't know if it will. Yes, it will. But we cannot cross that gap. So, oh, that's annoying. So what I will do is make it longer, I guess. Surely this is gonna rock like anything. Okay, can I move? Is there a move tool? M, move, no. Uh, just trying to work out. So if there's weight there, that will come down. I'm not sure if this will spin. It probably will a bit, maybe not too much. Oh, 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 he's going, he's going. Oh, no, 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 too quick, too quick. Oh. Hmm, that was nearly quite good. Let me just see how stressed the bridge was. So we're only about 50%, which I think means I can make these massively smaller. And by doing that, means I can, so I can move these about a bit more. Oh, it held. It swings so much. Try and work out, is there a way I can stop it swinging? Yes, there is. I can rope down one side. Because then when he comes on, that shouldn't swing at all, which might mean I can make these trusses a bit smaller. Just over here, it's going to go down. So, I can, rather than engineer this, I'm going to be a bit more polybridge-ish which is my new word for people that are good at polybridge. Yeah, so I'm gonna think polybridge. Try to think a bit less engineer, because if I was thinking engineer, I'd be like, okay, let's do another rope over there. And then that will balance everything out, because we want balance in a bridge. We don't want it to rotate. But I reckon by raising this, 
it should mean when it tilts, he just ends up at the right level and drives off smoothly. Right, so we're going. Let's turn the stress off. We don't care about that. Oh, not quite. Maybe a bit lot higher. I don't even know. <laughs> How much does rope cost? Maybe it cost 900. So it definitely could be an option then. Oh, oh sandwiched. <laughs> Okay, so the rope was 900. What does an extra piece of road cost? 200, 300, plus two. Okay, so that's probably gonna... Oh no, it starts rocking straight away. Right, so I'm just gonna go all the way back to before I lifted that up, just as a cost comparison. Right, so we had this, which I think was working fine. I can probably lower these now. And then I will boosh, boosh. So that's not gonna go anywhere. I can probably make these trusses way smaller. But we're over 10,000. But yeah, that did work fine. I don't know what the stress... 60, was it? Oh no, a bit, a bit more than 60. 93. Oh my god, why do I keep doing this? Top 4%. Right, so I'm just going to slightly move that in and slightly move that in. Maybe a bit more that one. But to be honest, I don't think I'm going to spend much time fiddling this. Because it's so close to being efficient. Oh, that was fine. I think it was a little bit cheaper. So, let's see what we ended up at. Yeah, we went down like 100 places. Still top 4%. I think that's fine. We'll go on to the next level. As I said before, we do want to fly through. Try and get to the more interesting ones. So, fork in the road. Fork. That was F-O-R-K, not... Anything else that you might have heard? Disgusting people. Right, so this one we have fast car, slow car. Fast car's got to get up there, slow car down there. Hmm. I reckon then we'll do a bit of a curve between these two. Oh, and we've got springs. I love the springs. All right, so we'll fill that in. So I'm wondering, is he going to jump? Let's do a very quick truss across as usual because I just want to find out we might have to put some reinforced road in here because it's a bit uh now that one this is always the way you replace one and then it just affects the piece next to it I'm guessing that one's going to go next oh no that one let's put reinforced road all the way along that one's going to go yeah I freaking knew it <laughs> right reinforced the whole way along <laughs> you see my mouse hovering over there. I knew that was going to happen. Right. 14 grand. And he's definitely not getting up there yet. So I'm not sure about this idea. Oh, because he really doesn't go that fast. Oh, no way. All right, let's make these bigger. Oh, shit. Bigger, 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 bigger. Because as we learnt, it doesn't affect the weight. If I can get this to hold the... Yep, okay, so that's good. Now I've just got to work out how to get that car up there. Because I was going to do like a jump. Let's see if I were to... Cause I'm just wondering, I could spring load this end. Okay, so what I'm thinking is the spring will allow a fast vehicle just to fly up here, but the slow one should squash it a bit. Um... So let's just try and get that angle. I think it needs to be a bit higher. God, that's really quite steep. Alright, so let's try that. Ooh. Oh, that looked painful. Let's just see if it squashes. No, not really. I don't think the spring does anything. So yeah, I'll tell you what then. I might try. Make the fast car do a little jump here and land on like a bit of uphill road so I'll high up the budget but this is just like a test so jump oh straight up nice question is is that gap small enough because it's quite a tall car oh no how about then I could try making that one a spring We'll see if he still makes it up with a bit of... Ooh, yeah, just about. 
So hopefully the weight of him will squash the spring. Oh, that is close. Is it another cup of tea moment? Or? Okay, so how about then I put a bit of road down the other side. I'm worried about the headroom there though, but we'll put some road there and it should allow him just to drive over a bit easier. So let's watch it. Oh, that is so close to not making it. He's got some serious torque though, fair play. Doink! Yeah, thought that might happen. This could take just a bit of fiddling. Perfect. Come on then you, come on. Oh, go on, go on. Yes, yes, beautiful. Lovely jubbly. And our cost is shocking. Hmm. All right, so we'll make that normal road. I took down a fair bit. It's around 20,000. Damn, steel is expensive, man. Okay, so the trouble is I've moved. Oh no, I haven't moved the stop bit. So this should all work fine. All right, this time. Oh, you broke. You dickhead. You absolute donkey. All right, so this stage, I'm just, I'm not even thinking. I'm just fiddling in the hope that it will stop breaking. Oh, that was close though. A little bit big. There's not a lot of engineering thought here. It's all just... Eh. Oh, that was so close. Oh, what if I rest that one on the floor? Surely that's going to help. I just wonder, do they even need to be connected? Could I just... Right, please, 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 please. Oh, you absolute... Why is it sliding? Whoa! <laughs> Oh, that gives me an idea though. If it slides, it doesn't have to be as strong then. I could probably get rid of that. Get rid of that. So I'm going a bit off the rails here, but if I can just get this to hold, I think I need two bits on the ground. But if that will hold in the same place, and then when it... Just put that back a bit. Basically, I want this to slide. Oh no, it's sliding too quick. Go, go, go. Yes! So now he should drive over. As long as he gets over, here he should drive through that. Beautiful! I think I trimmed down a fair bit of cost there as well. Without tweaking for too long. Top 18. Not bad, not bad. That was quite a cool level, that. Quite tricky. Right, on to the next one. Right, so we're at the air show. Ooh, this is cool. And we've got Mr. Chopper Man again. And he goes one way and comes back. And we've got hydraulics. So, how does this work? So, plane goes, hydraulics happen. Okay, so we can use the hydraulics to get the bridge out the way of the air show. The old red arrows. Whatever they're called in America. The blue hornets. Something like that. These are red. So these are red arrows. So screw you, America. Not really. Okay, so what I'm thinking then, I'm just going to go straight across with the road. And then I'm going to hydraulic my way out of it. Am I? Yes. Am I? Oh, this looks tricky, actually. Why have I done this? On the plus side, I know it only has to support itself, really, because that motorbike weighs almost nothing. Right, so as usual, we will truss our way across, and then we'll just see if it holds itself. How do I bloody move while I'm copying? I can't. So I can use this as my basis. I'm only half the budget. I'm hoping I can just replace some things with hydraulics. We should be good. I don't know how close the old, the red line is like. Is it the edge? Or is it the middle? I reckon it's the middle. So we'll see if that hits. Okay, so we got this, which means that piece of road has to go out the way. I'm guessing with this here, that should be my pivot point. As a starter, hydraulics in there. So I'm guessing we're still going to hit the tail there. I do wonder though, whether I could get my way out of it by doing this. Because if this were to work, I could... Hang on, so what's my, what's my thinking behind this? So, right, so essentially we've got a bit too much kind of weight in the middle. So I might try some rope and tying it 
to these points. And that should just stop things moving that way. And hopefully it'll stop that crushing. Damn, did you see that rope? <laughs> We're mental, look. Poing. I'm going to slowly just replace bits with steel. Ooh, so that worked quite well. So if I just reinforce that one piece of road we're good that bit of road don't look too good Ooh. okay so we made it across all right so we want to see how close these planes are absolutely beautiful so this end we're fine this one it's a bit too long because we've reinforced them this side we haven't reinforced this side but this side is going to be taking a lot more weight because we got all of this to try and it might be easier if I unsymmetrical, unsymmetricize, unsymmetri. If I, <laughs> I have no idea what the word is, but basically if I make this not symmetrical. <laughs> Words, y'all. Listen, I'm a numbers guy, not a word guy. So forgive me. Actually, why am I worrying about, I don't need to worry about the plane. What am I doing? It's me like building around planes and the planes aren't going to be there till the end. Ooh, so it's a bit tense over here. So I think we need to do what we did on the other side and just strengthen this up. Oh, I don't know if you notice as well, the plane... Oh no, it didn't hit that because it collapsed. Ignore me. And we'll probably have to do that one as well. I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna make sure that's in the middle. Alright, so let's just mirror this. Ooh, there's a bit of a bend there. But that looked good. God damn. Why did it do that? Oh, that's why. <laughs> I am an idiot. So, you can see I've got a joint. I knew I had a joint, but it kept snapping. And that's because, although there was a joint, you can rather stupidly make a joint have all the same connection, so it doesn't actually disconnect from itself. So we'll try that now. And hopefully, it should lift up fine. That side didn't. Just got to work out why this side snapped and that side didn't, because they're meant to be symmetrical. I don't know if I'm honest, but I will just reinforce the road. Much better. Planes didn't hit anything. Oh no! Oh, so I'm guessing just because it wasn't symmetrical, it didn't work. So yeah, we'll try that out and just see how we look. Right, so he's across fine. Let's get these up. Nice. And the red arrow, hang on, they were blue. Oh man, that means they're not English. They're not the red arrows. So will the chopper hold? Come on. Nice, did it. 20 grand under, well 18. How does that compare to everyone else? Top 35, wow, really not great. Oh, look at that one. That's cool. I'm going to have a little look in the gallery for that one. Whoa. What? Why did he not connect them? So that costs 15. Yeah, so we can make cool things, but they just cost a bomb. Let's, so we are at 42,000. Let's see if there's any... That's a really cheap one. So yeah, that's a nice idea, just go over the top. It's a little bit, oh my god. <laughs> 400 grand. Does it come up? Why? Ah, <laughs> oh, I love it. And this one, 20 grand? Damn. So yeah, not always the best technique to, um, to go straight, which to be honest, I'm quite surprised at. But actually, when you think about it, having that curve means you don't need these big steel muscles underneath. And they probably cost, let's just see what they cost. Damn, yeah. So if you can get away with not having them, it does bring the cost down. All right, so we got a few more done today. So we've got five more and then we're on to the elephant level. So yeah, cheers for watching and I'll catch you next time.